Hey, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're going to be heading into the newest stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history, and they want you to use either in six Inhuman Deeds characters for this new stage, or six Defenders of Justice. So unfortunately we can't uh, kill two birds with one stone on this one because um, nobody on Defenders of Justice is on Inhuman Deeds, so you're gonna have to, if you guys haven't already cleared this, you have to, you pretty much gonna just beat this stage twice, basically, um, to get all the missions, or at least that one extra mission, so you can beat it first with Defenders of Justice or Inhuman Deeds, and then the other way around, you beat the other one, but we're gonna go ahead and knock out Defenders of Justice right now, we're just gonna rock a Super Dragon Ball Heroes team, I guess. I was thinking about Universe 11, um, cause you know, I got Jiren, Jiren, Int Topo, you got the free-to-play, what is it, Casserole and Pride Troopers. And then also Dispo, but the only one we're missing is God Topo here. SDR Topo is not on Defenders of Justice, so I was going to run this team, and neither is she, so. Unfortunately, we're one short, so we're just going to run a Heroes team, and that, that should be good. Defenders of Justice, yep, and we're going up against the Heroes of Justice, alright, yep. We're just fighting for all kinds of justice today, alright. So, yeah, I, guess, I mean, it's just Infinite Dragon Ball history, so a Sensu and a Whis should be fine. Alright, let's hop right, in and let's get this, this uh, mission out of here. And then here over the next couple of days, we can start knocking out some of those, you know, the Cell Max missions and... Uh, New red zone, we gotta take down. But I figure first things first, we gotta get get this uh, infinite Dragon Ball history out of the way. So, alright, um... Okay, he's a crossover lead too, okay, cool. So yeah, we should be, should be good. I guess we'll leave the friend one on rotation since he's got his rainbow. take another look at the limit breakers it's been a little bit i feel like we've honestly everybody's just completely forgotten about the super dragon Ball heroes units now that you know superhero stuff is here and eighth anniversary is coming up soon on jp so super dragon ball heroes hype has kind of died down lately for sure these units are, are still cool and they're definitely still going to be fun to run when, when you do run the heroes team But I wonder if they're keep, gonna keep doing it like once a year. They're just gonna visit the heroes stuff. So we got the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4s this year. I wonder what kind of crazy stuff they could do next year. Maybe some fusions or something. Blue Evolution Gogeta, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, I've been link leveling uh, Piccolo and Gohan lately. They're they're getting there slowly but surely. I've just been running eight nine on auto is what I usually do, and then use my boosts on twenty eight two. So we'll get some fifty five percent showcases out for those two as well. Yeah, Piccolo and Beast Gohan. I'm so, I'm so happy we were able to pick up a copy of Beast Gohan too, just to be able to use him. And otherwise, we'll, we would have had to wait till he returned, basically. Over the next couple months, we've been waiting for those two to return. Yeah, we're flying right through this. Heroes, the Heroes team will work like a charm for this Infinite Dragon Ball history. And I'll probably do the Inhuman Deeds mission off camera. I 
I think I have a dupe in my Vegeta. I'm pretty sure he's 69%. He'll be triple super and stuff like that right there. It's just a double, but... I, I do like Limit Breaker Vegeta. Definitely not as good as this Goku here, though. The Limit Breaker Goku's doing quite a bit more and a lot tankier as well. But Super Saiyan 4 Gohan here, he's like the super tank. Same with this Super Saiyan 3 Goku. They're both like really good defensively. Like you could run them in the red zone if you... Like maybe. On some sort of setup. Does he have over to flash? Does Vegito? No, Vegito doesn't. So I guess we can keep Goku around just because he's a defensive wall. Like, this ain't gonna do nothing. Nice. At least they sealed him. Not with his guard and damage reduction, man. He's. That, that Super Saiyan 3 Goku with his EZA is really good. The Heroes team definitely got a buff this year. There's, they, they released a lot of characters for that Heroes celebration. So many easy A's, like I don't even, I can't even cover them all, man, because there's just too much, like I can't. Not enough time in the day. I don't know how some of these other, other Dokkan YouTubers do it, man, just... Punching them out, and I can't. Maybe if I was a full-time Dokkan YouTuber, but there's no way. <laughs> Not yet, at least. I'd have to be pumping out the content. We already know we got Jocko here. See if he wants to super attack uh, Vegito there in slot two. Maybe we can get a counter with Vegito. Hopefully, the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito and Broly do get easy A's uh, in their next hero celebration. I'm surprised all these characters are on the Defenders of Justice category. I guess I'll have to go check out the Super Dragon Ball Heroes episodes and stuff. Alright, Jocko is out of here. Is Gamma 2 the last phase? Gamma 2 might be the last phase. Or there might be one more after this. Probably Gamma 1, I'm guessing, or something. No super attack with God Trunks. Oh man. Gamma 2, no! Not Super Saiyan 4 Gohan. It's 20 games. Dang. Super Saiyan 4 Gohan just tanked that like a beast. Gonna go all out! Yeah, usually these, these Infinite Dragon Ball histories aren't, aren't really nothing too crazy. I mean, some of them can be hard. I guess, I guess it really depends, like, how your team's looking, basically. You know, what unit gets hit by the super attack, honestly. It's just how it is. If they're good defensively or not. It's like Super Saiyan 4 Vegito there. He's, he's not good defensively. Hell, even God Trunks has taken some damage from some normals there.
But yeah, these are these are always fun stages to clear. I always like hopping back in, doing with you know just random teams just to test out my units and stuff and just have fun with the game, basically. I'll never get bored of it, man. This is this is it right here. Dokkan's the life. Always something to do on here for me, at least. Could constantly be cleaning out my box. I still have like there there's so many people I could awaken still. And just make everything nice and neat. Grind up all the free to play units and stuff like that. I started keeping like SRs and stuff like that. Like some of the SRs, if you save them, that you get from, you know, just any banner and stuff, summoning all the time and stuff like that. Um you can Dokkan Awaken them. Some of them have Dokkan Awakenings, actually, so. I gotta keep, like, I gotta keep one copy in SA-10, that copy, Dokkan them, and then I have to keep four other copies, and then Dokkan all four of those copies to put them into the, the one that's already Dokkan, so I can rainbow them. You know, like, there's an SR AGL Sin Shenron that goes into Omega, and there's, like, a couple boos. Some Freezes that go into Golden Frieza. There's like a Tech Beerus, the Dokkans. Just a bunch of SRs. Like, <laughs> I started keeping them all for some reason. Just to have them, I guess. You know, maybe they'll get easy A's at some point or something. But yeah, I mean, in other news, we uh, just hit 2 million on our power level. You know, just from Lincoln and stuff like that. We're still only missing, you know, since we did end up pulling Piccolo and Gohan, we're still only missing two LRs at this point in time on my main global account. So the only LRs I'm missing on this version is Int 17 and Universe 7, and then STR, God, Goku, and Hit. It's the only two LRs I'm missing on this account. And I feel like at some point we... We should be able to pick them up. Definitely not getting them with coins. It just wouldn't be worth it. Maybe, maybe God Goku and Hit. Like, if I just have a bunch of coins laying around, and I'm like, all right, I, I haven't pulled these guys in this long. It's, it's time to pick up a copy of them. Maybe. We'll see, though. But yeah, I think this is gonna do it. Gamma 1, if I'm pretty sure it's the last phase, this should be it. We'll let Super Full Power Saiyan 4 Goku Limit Breaker finish this off with the Full Power times 10 Kamehameha. It rolls off the tongue real nicely. Alright, that was the newest stage of Infinite Dragon Ball history. You know, good rewards, some free stones for everybody, easy clear for most players. If you've been playing for a decent bit and got a nice, nice team set up. Yep, there it is. I think I still have to do stage 22. I think there's a mission I missed on 22 of the Infinite Dragon Ball history. Yeah, I still need to clear 22 with artificial life forms, and then 23 now we have to clear with inhuman deeds, so... I'll probably do those two off camera, just because it's, it's Infinite Dragon Ball history. It's nothing too crazy. I always do clear the, the new stages, though, and like to put out a video on that. But yeah, like I said, we still got some more content to do. I still got the Red Zone stages and, um, you know, more missions for Cell Max I can clear. Stuff like that. We'll get our showcases done for, uh, you know, Piccolo and Gohan. I'm really pumped to get them max links and start testing them out. Um, so I came up with a couple different teams, like, you know, AGL... Tech Gohan actually actually links pretty well with him. Like once once Tech Gohan goes into Ultimate, like they actually share five out of seven links. Like they have Infighter, Saiyan Warrior Race, Shocking Speed, All in the Family, and Fierce Battle. So they share five out of seven links. And then this AGL Gohan, um, you know, he gives the key three and some extra defense. So that's good key support for him. Um but unfortunately, on Go on Gohan's team, there's really no one you can rock with Piccolo. Um, like another, pretty much no other Piccolos. The only other Piccolo that's on superheroes is the Int Universe Seven Piccolo, and it's like, man, I'm not unless he gets an easy A, you're not running him with this guy. Um, 
So if you actually ran Piccolo as leader, you could take like STR Piccolo or Fizz Dokon Fest Piccolo, you know, because he leads Battle of Wits as well. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for the new Infinite Dragon Ball History stage. We cleared it with some Super Dragon Ball Heroes, Defender of Justice characters there. But yeah, definitely uh, pumped to keep using uh, these two absolute units. But alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you think, and let me know how you guys did in the newest stage of Infinite Dragon Ball History. And as always, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.